Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do a video for Fallout Shelter, and this video is called Secrets to Beating Deathclaw. There's been so much loss of life and so much struggle with Deathclaw. I want to show you guys an easy tip for how to do this and not lose a single person. It's all about setting up the path in advance and knowing the way the Deathclaws are going to go. So these Deathclaws come right in to the uh, vault entrance, and I've got two of uh, my dwellers right there. And you can see they um, held their own. They're max level. Then they come into the next room, and I've got Star-Lord and Tom Brady. You can see Star-Lord Star is taking a little bit of damage, so I pop one stem pack when he gets about 25% of his health, which is enough to keep him up. Deathclaw will go down to the next room. They're always going to drop down, and then they're going to go left. And in this room, I've got four max-level dwellers. So I've got Scribe, I've got Ronda Rousey, I've got Jimmy Fallon, and I've also got Rowdy Roddy Piper over in the corner. So you can see uh, once Ronda Rousey went down a little bit, pop one stem pack. Jimmy Fallon, pop one stem pack. And then they go to the next room. So they go to the next room, and they run into Jason and Madonna. And you can see this uh, Deathclaw doesn't really have much chance. Um, didn't even do half-life to either one, so I didn't have to waste a stem pack. And then he goes into the last room, and as soon as he walks into the last room, he is gunned down by Popeye. So that is a simple, easy way to dominate Deathclaw every single time, but you have to know the path they're going to take and you have to have your dwellers prepared in advance. Um, also make sure after the battle you do go back and heal them up to full life, because if you don't and you get another Deathclaw attack relatively soon, uh, they will die before you get a chance. They are super fast, they go from room to room, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you through a little bit of my rooms and it, um, just to show you how I prepared for it, even though I sort of talked through a little bit. So let's start with the first room. Uh, you can see I've got Sigourney Weaver and Tiger Woods in the first room. They are both full stats, and they have uh, good weapons. So you want to put your best, and, your best weapons and your best gear in that first room just so you keep them alive, and obviously the highest level you can possibly get as well too. But they are both max level stats. And... Uh, pretty good weapons. So I wanted a little bit of a breather there, so I've got a room that they basically just have to run through. That way I don't go from battle to battle. So then you get in the next room and you got Tom Brady and also Star-Lord, both uh, carrying very good weapons and fully leveled. Then once they go down the uh, stairs, we'll take a look and we got Roddy Piper at full level, Scribe Rothschild at full level, Jimmy Fallon, and also uh, Ronda Rousey, all carrying uh, good weapons and very good defense. So we get to the next room that they're going to go into where we have Madonna and Jason, both uh, full, fully max stats and full level. And then, of course, right here at the end is where uh, they met their untimely demise. So that is how easy it is to beat Deathclaw. Don't panic. Don't worry. Make sure you got about 10, 15 stem packs in inventory at all times and put your best characters following that path. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Subscribe below. Look for more videos. Like these videos. Peace.